you think it's oh no this negative emotion is because my lover left me oh no this negative emotion is because I don't have enough money or because I'm afraid of what's happening globally in the world and we say every single time you feel negative emotion it's because you're not keeping up with you meaning you're not looking at this situation through the eyes of source through the eyes of knowing through the eyes of expansion through the eyes of power you're looking at this situation through the eyes of bondage through the eyes of powerlessness through the eyes of disempowerment to some degree when you feel joy or love or appreciation all of those emotions are about your perception of utter empowerment and when you feel depression or fear those feelings are your indication of your perception of powerlessness do you know that have you ever felt depressed you know that empty feeling and then got really really mad about it and didn't you notice that when you got mad you felt less powerless and wouldn't you say well would you say we shouldn't put words in your mouth but we can hardly help it <laughs> wouldn't you say that you would every time rather be angry or enraged than afraid every time we know you would and the reason we know you would is because we see you every time you feel powerless you get mad at first till someone bigger than you convinces you that your anger is not a good thing and so what we want you to realize is that you have this natural inclination to begin moving in the direction of who you really are and where everything is if you are made to feel as if you do not have power the first thing you do and you may remember it if you think back and you may recognize it as you look at the little ones you throw a fit because you know at every level of your being that you are free and that you are supposed to be able to get what you want it is an innate tenant of who you are so when someone tries to convince you that you are not it's like a pillow pressed to your face you flail about but in time just like you break your horses we see you break your children in the sense that finally most of them will give up if the bigger one insists that the direction of anger from the feeling of powerlessness is the wrong direction but we're here to tell you that every time it's the right direction oh if you were frustrated if you were frustrated or overwhelmed we would never coach you to anger that's going upstream we would only coach you to anger if you're feeling powerless if you're feeling depression we would coach you into revenge we wouldn't ask you to hang around there until you've done something terrible would keep coaching you would keep calling you from your revenge into your rage into your anger into your less anger into your less anger into your frustration and overwhelmment into your hopefulness into your believing into your knowingness into your joy in other words who you are at the source energy level will call you never endingly toward who you really are but the call of source is a relevant term isn't it the call of source sounds like it sounds depending upon where you are in relationship to it and we want you to understand it's not about what anybody else is doing it's only about these two vibrational frequencies within you it's the relationship between who you're being and who you really are that is responsible for every emotion that you feel and so as we're moving forward here today we want to help you to really feel that we want to help you to quantify your journeys we've noticed as we've been watching you that when you travel from place to place you know how to do it as you go from Phoenix to San Diego it's easy to figure that out you know you're gonna go west you know that the the signposts are gonna guide you along the way and so you don't get out in the desert part way and then feel so discouraged that you're not all the way there that you get disoriented and lose your way and turn around and go back to Phoenix in the wrong direction Phoenix Yuma Phoenix Yuma Phoenix Yuma Phoenix Yuma and then you announce to your friends San Diego is an impossible dream <laughs> San Diego is incurable 
And we say, you don't do that about those kinds of journeys because you understand them. But you, for the most part, in your human form, have not been understanding your vibrational journeys. You have not been understanding that if you're sick and you want to be well, that you can't keep feeling the fear of the sickness. You can't keep poking at the symptoms of the sickness. You can't keep worrying about the sickness and move toward the wellness. That is an impossible dream. That is an incurable illness not because it is incurable but because you keep going in opposition to what life has caused you to ask for do you know that when the contrast of life you know what you don't want you know what you do want when you're sick you want to be well do you know that if you're really sick you launch more powerful rockets of desire into your vibrational escrow and as a vibrational being you are weller than you were before you got sick just like this leading edge expanded time space reality where you stand is weller more advanced stronger and further in development than anything that came before it do you know that that's what creation is about that's why you said you would come forth you said I will go forth a part of me from my non-physical vantage point of well-being into an environment of variety and contrast and from that variety and contrast I will come genius creator that I am to my own personal conclusions about what would be better and when that happens I know that a rocket will radiate from me and the larger part of me will embrace that rocket and when that happens there will be by the power of law of attraction a calling of me to it and if I hear the call and move in the direction of it I will achieve the full-fledged manifestational results or indications of that vibration alignment that's what you said and so it's an odd thing and you know it is when you reside in negative emotion for long periods of time because as you allow yourself to be unhappy about something as you now allow things to bother you as you find things to fuss and worry about as you allow yourself to feel inadequate or unworthy as you allow yourself to feel disenfranchised or victimized or taken advantage of as you allow yourself to feel those things as you practice those thoughts until they are chronic what happens is you establish a vibrational habit which is nothing more than what you call a belief you establish a vibrational habit that disallows all that's waiting for you in vibrational escrow but now you've got a full picture of this you will never again feel negative emotion and not know what it means negative emotion means every time the thought I'm thinking the drum I'm beating has me activating a thought vibration that's different from the eyes of source and as I hold myself in this vibrational pattern I disallow my movement into alignment with who I am and I disallow my movement toward the very thing I said I want so it plays out like this your life experience shows you that you don't have enough money so you want more money and this has been happening for a while so I don't have enough money I'd want more money until you have put a veritable fortune we're not kidding you in your vibrational escrow we've seen it but then you beat the drum of not enough money I don't have enough money I'm worried about money I've never really had enough money I can't remember ever having enough money it seems like I've always been short of money I in fact I hardly know anybody who has enough money <laughs> hardly anybody has enough money all oh, that rich bugger over there has got plenty of money but <laughs> it's not right it isn't fair probably inherited it <laughs> probably deals drugs <laughs> I don't have enough money I don't have enough money I don't have enough money they won't pay me enough money I deserve much more money I've been here a long time I do a good job they should recognize the good job I'm doing they should be paying me more money did you see how much that cost can you believe that they would ask that much for that so without even meaning to you observe what's going on and you talk about it to yourself and others until you develop this chronic attitude mood proclivity vibration about money and all along unbeknownst to you 
in your vibrational escrow tended to for you by your source energy is a veritable fortune and not only is it being tended you're being called toward it and do you know that negative emotion you feel when you think about money do you know what it means it means that you're being called but you're not going it means that the stream is beating up on you because you've got your feet nailed to the bed of the, the, the floor of the river and you're not going Jerry and Esther went white water rafting last summer and it was such a fun day and as they put their boat in the water there were a lot of them that went six of them went together and several other rafts full of high school wrestlers <laughs> and as they put their boat in the water not one of them even thought about turning the raft upstream they knew that fast moving river it was class four rapids in much of the stream was going to have its way with them nobody even thought about paddling upstream and the river guide said to them first thing friends this is not Disneyland we cannot turn this river off and this is the thing that we most want to say to you we cannot turn this river off further you're the one who made the river go so fast you hit the ground running when you were born you had so much intention and all day every day you're sifting through that data of life and asking 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 you're the reason the river's moving fast and you're the reason that you're going with it or not you have total control in all of this and nothing that you're doing has anything to do with anybody else or anybody else's river in other words stay out of their boat and don't invite them in your boat in other words the only thing that matters to you the only awareness that you need to have if you want to utilize the guidance system that you were born with you want to know one thing and one thing only moment by moment thought by thought is this upstream or downstream and then the next statement is how can I make it more downstream how can I turn this thought and this feeling more downstream what could I do to soften the resistance what could I do to release the resistance a little more and trying harder is the wrong answer trying harder makes the resistance more it's letting go of the oars that makes it less it's trusting the process it's trusting the stream it's trusting that you have an inner being that is calling you toward it this is such an important message that a while back we wrote a book and we gave it the best title of any book that's ever been written ask and it is given and we just explained to you how that is so life causes you to ask and source not only gives it to you source literally becomes the vibrational essence of that which you are asking for and stands in such complete alignment with the ever expanding version of you and offers a signal under the universe that law of attraction is responding to which creates the sensation within you of a current that is indescribable and when you allow yourself to move in the direction of that current you feel wonderful and when you don't you don't Jerry and Esther's granddaughter Kate five years old they're gonna see her soon will bring as she always does a little toy car small enough to keep in her hand or pocket and then she wants to play the game let's hide the car I'll hide it she says and you find it so Kate hides it in the garden or in the bus or in the living room wherever they are she hides it and then she gives them clues you're getting warmer you're getting warmer oh now you're colder you're getting oh now you're colder you're getting warmer you're getting warmer oh you're getting really warm you're getting hot 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 and they find it every time because Kate knows where it is Kate knows where it is and so she stands in this calling of them to it you see and this is the same thing that we're talking about the source within you knows where everything you want is and calls you never endedly toward it and when you feel you're getting colder you're getting colder you're getting colder let go of whatever it is that you're doing and make a new decision